G'day guys, how are you going? Well, my 12 volt camping fridge setup has been installed in my Mighty Patrol. It is powered up and it is ready to go. Now just keep in mind, the sole reason for changing my camping fridge setup was to have a fridge and a freezer, whereas before, I only had a fridge. Now, I was considering three options when I was looking at changing my 12 volt camping fridge setup, but after so many replies to my recent video, I've now added a fourth. Yeah. Option number one was, yep, keeping my 45 litre, 18 year old Ingle, and then getting a little 15 litre slim line to sit down beside that and using that purely just my freezer. Option number two was going to be looking at one of these 65 litre uprights, very popular at the moment, fridge freezer, little slim line freezer in the top of that unit. Then option number three was going to be looking at one of these dual zones, you know, separate fridge, separate freezer, all one unit. And then option number four, which a lot of people have asked, you know, commented about this one is use this as a, as a possible consideration. And that's one of these slide out drawer fridges and I could use that as a freezer. So after considering one of those four options that's gonna best work for me and suit the layout in my patrol, let's go and check out the new setup. All right, so here it is. I've kept my old ingle and I've now added the 15 litre slimline roadie that Bushman actually provided for me to try this one out. And this is gonna be used just as my freezer. There's plenty of advantages for this 12 volt camping fridge setup over the other three options that I mentioned. So the first one, why get rid of my ever reliable ingle? Secondly, the 15 litre roadie, well it slots in down there really nicely to be used just as my freezer. And then thirdly, well, I didn't have to rearrange this whole area here to install this roadie. It was a simple addition for both the install and the wiring. And then fourthly, I've got two separate units. So if for whatever reason, one of them is to go down, I've still got a backup. Now I suppose, and then for the fifth option, which is certainly a big one, and that is just accessibility. How easy, just get in here, open the door, straight into it. I was never going to move my fridge into the back where it used to be. I'm uh, never going to do it again where you've got to open the barn doors, open the spare tires. It was a real pain in the neck to get to my fridge. Whereas now, just open the side door, straight in. It's just so easy. Straight in there, straight into my little freezer there. No worries at all. No fridge slides required, so no you know, big weight with fridge slides just all sits there absolutely perfectly. So why not one of the other three camping fridge setups that I mentioned before over this setup that I've got here now? Well, the first one was going to be the 65 litre upright fridge freezer. You know, very popular, see them in a lot of tray back utes and those sort of things. Might see them in a few wagons as well, but for me, it probably wasn't ideal for, again, my setup here. Um, you know, only a small freezer in the top. I think they're only about seven litres in the top of those uprights where I've got 15 litres here. But total capacity is about the same of a 65 litre upright fridge freezer, but I've got a bigger freezer than what's in one of those units. And then the second option was going to be looking at one of these dual zones. Now, great idea, you know, you've got two separate compartments, but the big problem is I looked at a 75 litre um, as a possible option for the size I could, that I would probably be looking at to put in here. But the thing is, they're too long. They're about 900 mil long, and it just simply won't fit in the space that I've got. So that one counted that one out. And then the other one was going to be looking at these drawer, drawer fridges and using that as my freezer. You know, great idea. Um, but the only problem with that would be I'd have to, because I wouldn't be able to put it there, the, the drawer wouldn't be able to slide out with the door here. So I'd have to move it over to here. And then I'd have to sit my ingle up on top of that. So it'd be too high, you know, for by the time I mounted this on top of the, uh, the, the slide out drawer fridge. So that counted that option out. So this is the way I've gone and it's just absolutely perfect. It's gonna work an absolute treat. So that's it, the old and the new, side by side. Gonna be fantastic for my camera trips coming up down the track. So thanks for tuning in guys, and we'll catch you next time. Uru.